Here we go. Didn't take long. I'm not convinced that's going to upset Sachin Tendulkar at all. 57 games more than anybody else. <laughs> but he's quite a character now. Big swing and a miss, but movement off the deck from now. Yes, indeed. He's away. Just the one. Gets Alby Walker in the game. Chop the line. Swan Pollock has struck early. Terrific start from South Africa. How often it is that Swan Pollock gets. And that's exactly where Sean Pollock's going to be with Sachin, I'm sure. And just have a listen to this reception. Daryl Harper calls wide. That is the end of the first. That's a good start. They had a bit of a battle, of course, in uh, Bangalore. Take a look. That is a very good shot indeed. Eden Gardens has come alive initially with that drive. Him on. It's a good leave. Intelligent cricket from Gambia. He's a plucky young. On target from Andre Nell. Speaking of targets, he's been doing this for some time, Andre Nell. He wears a heart rate monitor. It's a bit of a delayed shot from Nell, with no support behind. First class cricket. Nice line, nice length, nice carry from Nell. Got out of the crease. Which is going to mean that Sean Pollock will just bring his line and his length in particular just back a little bit. And Dorka looks like he's batting Sajjan. Inside edge onto the pad. And you might guess he's away. I can confirm that uh, last night, thanks to Arun Lal, a boundary. A little bit too short from Sean Pollock. One ball remaining from Pollock. And it's past the outside edge. The bat was on a bit of a slant as well. Three overs gone. He's done an outstanding job as uh, Dr. Mohammed Musaji. There he is, just uh, talking. Manager. Yeah, that was quite remarkable footage. That was uh, literally about 20 minutes before the toss. That's when he went down, Makarantini. Just after that, he suddenly has to uh, rush off for the change. Some deliveries are taking off and some not so quickly. Here we go. Didn't take long. I'm not convinced that's going to upset Sachin Tendulkar. Anybody else? <laughs> but he's quite a character now. At least he's got a smile at the end of it. It's what uh, Nell's trying to do there is get under the... No chance. You would think he's uh, smashed a three extra cover for four. He hasn't. He's got one down a third man and one off the over. 13 for one. I caught end. You'll notice on our uh, information, oh, there's another wide that has been called. This is very unusual for Sean Pollock. A couple in the first over, and now he's... I just wish to point out at uh, our graphics at the bottom. You can see that uh, now it's four overs and one ball. And well, that one he held across the seam. Wants the ball to come into the batsman. Just also making sure that, you know, just does something different. There's a nick. Sean Pollock has gone up. Daryl Harper has gone up as well. That is an enormous wicket. Sean back. Allows that one to go through. Hung his bat out. It was outside the off stump. He didn't read the delivery. He didn't quite anticipate that the ball would be moving off the seam away from him. Otherwise, there was the same old stuff from Pollock. That's what it is. That one a little bit uh, tighter. He's a big score on the offside. We know that Sawag. That line will be a little bit tighter to Sawag. He gets off with a couple. We're one ball away now from completing five overs. Just to let you know, in Bangalore, South Africa, in fact, after five overs for four. Stand and deliver. His feet did not move an inch, but the ball raced away for four. 20 for prize, who knows? Now. The umpires are not going to be allowed to rely on... Uh, The best defensive shot to a ball outside the off stump is to let it go. Unless you're expecting it to come back into you, so really... Get... 
Tucked away back at a square. He wants to come back for two, Gambia. There's going to be quite a few hand signals, I think, from the batsman today. Virtually no point yelling to communicate. Big swing and a miss, but movement off the deck from now. Yes, indeed. Just took a huge sigh of relief there. Gautam Gambhir went for that extravagant because of the grass. It's also a bit of a fresh wicket, if you can call it that. This is a 2.30 start. However, whatever is to happen is to happen in the first 10 overs. Good stuff from Andre now, beating the bat and just two runs off the over. All the twos. He arrived earlier. That'll be a leg bite. And I think importantly, Arun, we're not going to see any change of uh, tactics from Vrinda Sobag. He's going to play his normal game. I think it's worth reflecting on the last game that was played here, Arun. Game that uh, Pakistan... Short ball first up. Just to let him know he's around the place. I think Dravid knows that. 23 for 3. Thanks very much, Mike. Well, this is going to be fascinating. One end, you got the wall, as he's known. The wall of India. Raul Dravid, the captain. Hasn't got all of that, but he's threaded it through for a couple. Yes, you can already see the difference between the two bowlers, Andre Nell and Sean Paul. Sevak won't mind that. In fact, uh, on a surface like this, you won't mind the bowlers dropping it short. What's there? That's again drawing the batsman forward. Uh, just that length where you can't go forward or back. Got uh, Tendul. He's got hold of that one, though. No need to run, really. And it's set up nicely here. He's got it right at the bottom of the bat, but uh, he's a powerful man, Sevag. He packs a punch when he hits it. Side edge, so nearly got through. Now that's more the length uh, Andre Nell would be up and let the pitch do the rest. There is a slight uh, movement off the seam that came back into Sevak. And plus, if you. And the over 29 for three. Hey. Say, Gambia's dismissal was quite an interesting one, in as much as I was wondering. Why he was hanging around. Normally, when you caught it first slip, you know, you're not going to get away with it. Just umpires aren't going to make that big an error. And yet, it was only when I saw Pollock's reaction that it, he didn't, he wasn't sure it's carried. That shows that it carried quite easily. Nicely caught by Smith. Fingers underneath it. He just holds it up. Pollock. Big appeal. That'll be tight. That'll be tight. Is it sliding down? Yes. This way, but. And it's a testing time for the Indians. It's not easy out there. These are good conditions. They'll become a, a much, much better side, producing a lot more cricketers for India. I think this is a good first-class trip. What it you could be on the back foot straight away. We'll come back to that. 29 for 3. It's a good shot. On the up. And doesn't think about running. Well, you almost got a feeling, Robin, that uh, Sevag was itching to go. Out, caught Boucher, bold haul. Hall gets his revenge. He's taken some punishment, but that, for South Africa, is a huge wicket. This ground stunned into silence. That is a... Which means that Sevag had to reach out for it. He normally doesn't get across with that uh, front foot. If it's up and straight, he'll bang you down the ground in deep trouble. 40... Be a wide. Paul knows it. And brings up the 50 for India. Up. And he's got it a little wider. Sevag had to reach out for that without really getting across with that front foot. Really what a feeling playing here. Yes, they love the cricket in this part of the world. Whether it's one-day cricket, test cricket. Oh, 
One thing that quite surprises me is uh, a bank of seat. Good shot. Beaten Kent this time. And will run away for four. I was a little surprised that uh, Andre Nell didn't get. Sing. Off the mark, as was Dravid. And, and really, he would know, you know what could be a competitive score on the surface. Right on target, and uh, Rahul Dravid. Good now. Which is something he doesn't mind doing now. She's much better. Slip into gully now bottom edge and there's a little bit of variable bounce that we've been talking about so far I think there are times when you're facing on Randall and again I'll refer to Dravid's uh, dismiss and hide crash that away for four that is a beauty this time he was not going to make the mistake he did the last ball around what's the thought about it Neil knew that that's one thing of touring India all these youngsters we heard from uh, Ram Smith and the coach South of India now we get to the east coast, eastern part of India. So different players in India having different weather conditions, pitch conditions. So much to learn with every outing for the visitors. And it is. That's good stuff from uh, Sean Pollock in his eighth and Andre Nell also in his sixth. So this is the first to go. Surprised that he opened the batting for time, but he went second ball to Pollock. Then the big wicket. Great delivery in the right side of Paul Gordon and certainly Initially with Sean Pollock, but then got excited. And Singh Bhav was looking in good touch. Runs coming in a hurry for him. Andrew Hall, big sigh of relief. Got it. Langer Phelps not quite ready. The interesting thing... He's in a bit of trouble at the moment, Smith, with this overrate. That's why he was getting a little bit agitated with the signal dump by Jay Prakash. Making sure that uh, there was a little bit of a time delay before that power play was called. As a non-striker, you want to stay as close to the wicket as possible. Eh? The pitch is possible. Yeah, okay. A little bit of variation there from Charles Langerfeld. I think the South Africans are working on a particular plan here. Driving on the up. He's got it square on the offside. A bit of tag teamwork and... Uh... That's good stuff from Charles Langerfeld coming back from injury, just two off his foot. The problems with the uh, health of a lot of South Africans and of Mike. That is a glorious stroke. That is a beauty. Enough width to free his arms. And Yuvraj Singh, when he's in good form, is a club. In the style that he's accustomed. He's going to be looking for two here. Justin Kemp is chasing, but uh, won't prevent the second. Or it's uh, providing problems. It was raining this morning as well. Uh... Seven off the over. It's a good one for India. 71 for four. Free ball. Langerfeld again is uh, striving for this area just outside the line of the off stump. Just hoping the driver doesn't get consistent about six inches outside the line of off stump. Got him! Brilliant stuff from Sir Langerfeld, a straighter delivery that time, there might have been a little bit of movement away from Rahul Dravid, but again it's an uncharacteristic shot from Dravid, it's a good delivery, but Dravid won't be happy when he sees this replay, again just a little bit of a... Bullseye, just to him to swing away from the right arm to Rahul Dravid, full up, and jumping for joy, and his confidence, South Africa has done extremely well, Dravid... Five straights. Now we need to give full congratulations here to Charles Langerfeld, he was bowling outside the line of off-stump, contrary... Can't see much help for the spinners uh, on this surface. That's why I feel in one day. 77 for five. 77 for five. Well, Charles Langefeld, as far as I'm concerned. 
That's what he's normally doing. He's bowling from wide of the crease, getting the ball to come in and slide. And he does hit the bat. Arunlal mentioned he's around the 140k mark. So that's sharp. There's a lot more grass than I've ever seen on this wicket in Calcutta. It's well rolled. It's a well prepared wicket. Don't get me rust up. As a groundsman at times, you want to be fair. You want to get uh, five or six down, which is exactly what's happened with India. A maiden, 77 for five. Excellent timing. The placement good too. Deep cover. Well, Arun, uh, you know this pitch as uh, well as anybody, having played uh, so much of cricket here. With the ball keeping a little low. Good, positive blow. No half measures whatsoever from KF on that occasion. Got that away nicely. Just the one, though. Little finish. Scampers won, so the hamstring seems to be okay for Mohammed Kaif. And four off the over. 159 for six. Bit of flight this time from Boza, and a very good shot from Kaif. All along the carpet for four. It's generally the pace that he does bowl. And about uh, the 87. He has bowled one or two deliveries, about 95 k Sprout. If he does, er, tends to... Mark Boucher encouraging Johan Boucher. Some 12 months ago, he wasn't in the lineup, Mark Boucher. What's impressive? So he can play both ways. He's got a reasonably good defence. Uh, the important thing is... Uh, A good over India without doing anything too extravagant. The boundary off the first ball helped. Seven coming from it, 166 for six. That is brilliant from Sean Pollack. He's bowled his tenth over. It's a maiden. His figures are absolutely outstanding, and it's appreciated by his captain and teammates. 166 for six to do something special. He's done that. Andre Nell back into the attack now. Also with very tidy figures. As you can see, uh, Graham's 40th over. It's nicely struck down the third man. Work to be done by Langefeld, who I'm sure is going to be one of the finishers for South Africa today. But, uh, there will be concerns in the Indian change room. Seven wickets. Getting the wicket. Now, what will be interesting to see now is Tony's tactics. He knows there's every chance of him uh, running out of partners. Going a bit leg side. Also, he's got some bounce now and disappointment. He's got one. He's on the board. He'll be pleased with that. He's 100% up. Full of energy. Uh, plenty of enthusiasm. Got one ball left. And he Smashed away. That'll be four. Wrong, Jackman. Just two. Good work on the boundary. Well, suddenly he's got the length that he wants, Dhoni. Walkle again. Oh, every dot ball is gold dust. Good to see him part of it. Out, bowled by Callas. And yet another Indian wicket falls, which is going to make it harder for them in these last few overs going over straight he was trying to play it to square leg and played right across it the trouble 187 for eight let me do it again just doing it perfectly Jacques he's hit that but straight to the man who's caught it put it on the boundary so South Africa getting wickets just when they want to India not having if you like the luck that you need in the last five or six overs where the ball goes I wasn't really from the middle of the bat once again he was struggling in this innings Mohinder Singh Dhoni from the standards 36 now India 187 for nine was they would be disappointed with this so South Africa have played this match so end of the fourth over six for up 30 for no loss he's under pressure 
He's bowled much better to uh, Andrew Hall than he is to Graham Smith. That's up in the air, hasn't got all of it, but enough to clear. Parvajan. Good thinking by Patan. Andrew Hall. It's two from the over, 45 without loss. Pulled away by Smith. Ravi Shots, we did mention a few times that he's a big man, but for a big man. And Smith will keep strike. South Africa need 30 to oh. win. 160 without loss. Over the top of mid off. Smith is in such control. That's his. Unless he plays four top balls, the South Africans are rejoicing. They can't lose from here. They've ensured that. Here's one person who's not. Uh, Graham Smith. The captain.